Welcome to another exciting edition of the Part-Time Preppers. Voodoo milk spot removal. What does it all mean? Well, uh, we will tell you. Um, for the last year and a half, or actually a little more, we've been on YouTube, and I've, I've heard so much about milk spotting, mostly with the Royal Canadian Mint. And uh, I don't know, it's because it's been we've been lucky, but I've never had a coin milk spot. Uh, usually when we get new uh, silver... Uh, we'll keep it around for a while and to admire or whatever, and then uh, we'll put it in some long-term storage. So the other day I was getting ready, getting some pieces to put away, and finally the milk spot bit us. There we are. This is the uh, Birds of Prey series, the Red Hawk. Here, let's take a good, now we got some good milk spots here. As you could see by the dollar... And then after the two and Queen Elizabeth and in her name. So there's a nice close-up. There you go. It looks like it's breaking out with some sort of plague. Uh, and even the back. So we finally... And this coin I was never excited with. Got it from a major company. When they first came out, and had a neck in it. I should have tried to return it. However, I didn't. There's right in the ounce there. I see the neck too. So this has been an unlucky coin so far. So we thought, we got our chemistry books out, me and the lovely hand model, decided to try to make a formula. We will share it with you now to see if they will take care of the milk spots. So there you have it. And let me just show you one other coin. I, I We did order the owl. Actually, it's coming in the mail. I don't think I'm going to get at least any of the Birds of Prey series anymore. They are lovely coins. However, now this eagle, right above the ounce, Z there, it's pretty evident there is a milk spot coming out on that one. So, the milk spot plague finally hit our stack. There you have it. So, now to the formula. After much calculations, we've developed a formula. Okay, we... One part milk, just because we want to get rid of milk spots. We'll pour this into our cup very carefully. There we go. There's one. And two parts Pepsi, because we all love Pepsi in this household. It does take the paint off of cars, I believe, in the summertime. So there's one part and... Two part Pepsi. Now vinegar. There we go. We have some vinegar. Two parts vinegar. One and two parts vinegar. There you go. Carefully get every drop in. It's not sure what that quite looks like now. One of our secret ingredients, but we will let it out. Concentrated lemon juice. There we go. Let's throw some of that in. And after much debate, Miller High Life. There we go. One shot. Just for luck. And there we have that. Now we have a nice concoction. A hand model. I will gingerly give you this coin. Uh, should we stir it? That's a good idea. Well, I cannot stir it, but I'm going to take it out of view here, and I'll shake it. Good suggestion, hand model. It has been shaken. Okay. Here, you have the honors. There it is. Say goodbye. And please lower it into the secret voodoo formula. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and uh, we will give that a week or so. And we will remove it. Now, don't drink it. Um, hand model, I need voodoo. You want to wave over that? Uh, little voodoo. Oh, 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 oh. Little voodoo, yes, from the hand model. So we'll see if this works out or not. We'll get back to you in a week or ten days. We'll pull it out, and I better put a sign on it. Don't drink. Okay, until the next time, take care, keep stacking, be good. From the part-time preppers. Thank you. Bye-bye.